Hey guys, Jessica here and welcome back to another favorite episode. So today we are in the famous, the so famous talaga, Binondo. As you guys know, Binondo is the oldest Chinatown in the world. So it's a Chinatown with a very very long history talaga. And I've already been here several times for a nice food trip. So of course, we came back for Pabulito series. I've been here because it's so famous because you know in high school they always bring you field trip, right? And it was so good, really. The first time I had food trip here, oh my god. Second time, oh my god. So I'm so excited because the first time and second time I went here, it was like always ibang food and it was all good. So I think, yeah, we can get even better or maybe other delicious food here in Binondo. What I can remember is when we went to Binondo last time, we tried the oyster pancake. Oh my god, oh my god. The oyster pancake was so good, really. It's a year ago, I still remember exactly how it was. This is really, really, really good. I want to bring my dad here. He loves oyster pancakes. Really? Oh my god! That was so good. Okay, let's go. Dito po kayo? May paborito ang pagkain dito sa Binondo? Meron? Oh wow, it's the Jollibee? It's even written in Chinese! Interviewing is always the hardest part, guys. But guys, I really have to say, I really love this plaza. Like, it's really nice. Like, this is the kind of plaza we're looking for to ask interviewees in favorito. That's I'm looking for pinaka masarap na pagkain or kainan dito sa Binondo. May paborito po kayo? Yung sa cafe food. Sobrang sarap po doon. Anong pagkain doon? Chinese food. Meron din po siyang parang store for souvenir. Oh, really? Ah, uh, it's parang famous. Yes. Oh. Kulay purple po siya dyan po malapit sa Silva. Oh. Anong paborito order mo? Yung parang noodles po. Noodles? Can you describe yung ano yung noodles? Meron po siyang parang shrimp. Pati shrimp? Pati gulay. Just shrimp gulay? Oh, oh, and noodles? Opo. That so, noodles? Ah, uh, medyo po mahal dun pero sulit po. Ah, it's medyo mahal. Kasi you're a student, how, how old are you na? Magta-13 na po. 13? You go with your mom or? Ah, uh, wala po kung ano, parents. Ah, ah sorry, 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 sorry. So with your sister? Opo. Ah. When you have occasions, ilang beses ipupunta kayo dito? Mga birthday ko. Every your birthday, pupunta kayo to? Minsan po, but wala po kami makainan. Kasi ang sarap po talaga. The noodles at saka ano yung iba? Rice with shrimp, dumplings na dumplings? may laman. What's your favorite talaga among all of them? Chicken curry po. Chicken Kasi curry? <laughs> okay, so out of all of them, chicken curry is your favorite. Okay, Saka dito po kayo? I study here. My school is near Binondo. Mm, where? Like Ermita Adamson University. Ah! So, do you have favorito, favorito, favorito pagkain or kainan dito sa Binondo? I'd say my favorito is Ying Ying Tea House. My favorite there is Wonton Mummy. I don't really know how to describe, but it's just better the soup and then the noodles. Mm. So, and then the wonton, compared to other places, you can taste the fillings and then they're bigger. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, wow. They have a good uh, chili sauce. Chili sauce? Oh my god, oh my god. But it's oh very spicy for me. I know you can handle it though. Oh, okay. And then for dim sums, I like hakao. Hakao. And the classic pork shrimp shomai. Shomai. Yeah. For the drinks, my friend told me that their milk tea is good. Milk? Oh, they also yeah. have milk tea pa. Yeah, yeah. I got this tea house. So it's tea house, but then they have the dim sum and yeah. then the wonton pa. Oh, duro. So it's like a restaurant slash cafe, like yes. that vibe, right? Ilan beses you come here? Three times. If I like the place, I would... Isa lang, yeah. Ding -ding. Ah, okay. Yin Yang Tea House. Yin Yang Tea House. What's Yin Yang Tea House. Yin Yang Tea House. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Hello, po! Hi! Hi! Are you here? Yeah. yeah. Are you guys a Chinese Filipino? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Ah, <laughs> best thing about Binondo? I think food. Okay, okay food yeah. talaga. Okay, okay. <laughs> Looking for pinaka masarap ng pagkain dito sa Binondo. Mm -hmm. May paborito po kayo? For me, I want to recommend maybe Lancho Lamian. That's the name of the place. Lamian is noodles. <laughs> so it's like they really serve, yeah, hand-pulled noodles. Hand noodles? Mm -hmm. Lamian's pull. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, Lamian's pull. Yeah, it's the noodles. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. You guys 
also speak Chinese? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the authentic pronunciation for the place? Uh, Lanzhou la mian. Lanzhou la mian. Yeah, wow, oh, this is perfect oh, pronunciation. Oh. <laughs> so, what should I eat there? I would recommend the spicy beef noodles. Spicy beef noodles? Yeah. Okay. And then the dumplings are like my favorite. Oh, I'm not good with spicy food because yeah, yeah. I prefer tado stir fries. La mian guisado. Yeah. I like it because there's a good Oh. 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 The fire, yeah. I can feel it, but when it's yeah. cooked in a wok. Yeah. So <laughs> how many times have you been there? All the time. Yeah. Can't count, can't count. Yeah. Ever since you were a child, it was there. Yes. My high school. Wow, they yeah. really know when they start. <laughs> Excited to try everything today. Can I ask, is it okay if I just film myself eating? Go the back, go the back. Alright, guys, so our first stop is the Great Buddha Cafe. What's your favorite to like among all of them? Chicken curry. And so we were looking so hard in our menu where's the curry, where's the curry, but walang curry. I think, or I hope, that this was what she was talking about, which is the chicken mushroom and sausage. Yeah, as she said, we got the fried rice, shrimp fried rice, and another extra bestseller. One thing I have to say though, like, ang chura niya, but it's like a normal Chinese food we all know of, right? Like the fried rice, but it smells very different. It smells much deeper. Let's dig in. So this is the chicken. I'll try it with the rice, and they put pet chai here, like that. It smells like the Hainanese chicken chicken. Mm. Mm. It's slightly salty for my taste though. You can feel really the chicken, mushroom and sausage. At the same time, talaga. In one timing, you can taste, okay, first chicken, and then as you chew, flavors of mushroom. And then, the sausage flavor at the end as well. Chicken is very tender. Very, very tender chicken. Rice itself is also seasoned, so very savory. Ah, yeah, it's this smell. The smell I'm talking about that's like different, it's coming from here. It's got a lot of shrimp inside. It really has a lot. And then the shrimp also is it's bigger than the typical shrimp fried rice shrimp. Let's try it. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Even if it's just a very simple shrimp fried rice, I know why she said this is her favorite. It's very good. It's like perfect, perfect shrimp fried rice. The shrimp is really big, so you can really chew on it. It's not salty also. Not salty at all. Mm. The shrimp! The shrimp is but it's not really the typical na frozen uh, shrimp that's mali yet. Wow, it's good. The shrimp is really kiba. Last. So parang this is just gulai, but it's the most expensive. They said it's a radish cake. Oh. So when you split it, there's a... I don't know if this is radish. It looks like radish, but it's not like the raw radish. It's like they mixed it. Wow, I don't know what is this. My first time in my life trying this kind of flavor. And then it's crisp outside, but it's inside is very... Yeah, it's very fluffy. Like fish cake, fish ball, but way more smooth and yeah. Mm. The texture is like potato, but it doesn't taste like anything. It's like that. But it's good. Like a new delicacy. But this is my favorite. 
it stayed true to the standard very well. Let's go, let's go! Vibes! Uh, authentic Chinese smart. Did it show? Parang the guards here are not that intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mabay na guards dito. Very nice. Because guys, we always get kicked out by the guards. Hi. Yeah, they're even saying hi to me. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Uh, maybe because I look Chinese. <laughs> Guys, so we came here sa Ying Ying Tea House. I thought it was a Yin and Ya, but that's why he really corrected me. Talaga. It's Ying Ying talaga. and it's a tea house. So I'm gonna try their tea first. <laughs> it's really good. And the eyes already melted everything, right? So knowing that, it's still very strong. The tea flavor. It's really authentic tea talaga. And then, parang the milk they use is also fresh milk. Fresh milk, you know, that's fresh milk, yeah. Fresh milk with good tea, perfect milk tea you can think of. Also, a bit bitter though. If you really like only sweet milk tea, it's not for you. But I like it. Okay, so let's try the noodles, Muna. So this is the wonton noodles, right? I'll try the wontons first. The wonton, compared to other places, you can taste the noodles and then... All the chomais I've ever tried, this is the one with the most chunky filling. Like you can really taste the pork, the shrimp. As he's described, yeah. The gulai. <laughs> Once I tasted the wonton, it was slightly salty. So I was like, okay, and I tried the noodles. I know why it was slightly salty. The noodles or the soup, not salty at all. So, together, it's really sakto. It's really my type. I like bland flavors. Not too much on the seasoning. You know, something where you can really feel the flavor of the ingredient. You know, that's my type. This is really that. Very simple flavor, but it was so welcome. It stayed true to the basic, but in a very perfect way. Sometimes like, when I have Chinese noodles, you know, it leaves a little weird scent at the end that like, what is this? But this one is really fresh and clean. So good. The noodle, how it's cooked, is perfect. You really don't have to go to China. If you're in the Philippines, really. So, having a kale. This is spicy. So I'll put ponti lang. Soy sauce. Kalamansi. One to one to one ratio. Perfect. Well, they're hakao naman. It looks really beautiful. With the sauce that I made. Hakao. They have a good uh, chili sauce. Chili sauce. Very spicy for me. Super spicy. Super, super spicy. Mm. Hakao is a very well-made hakao. And one thing I want to praise is, you know sometimes hakao, every time you bite into it, it always the laman and then the coating, it always separates. So it's hard to eat, right? This one, it's like the paper and the laman really became one. It doesn't play separately in your mouth. It's together, together. Small detail, but it really makes a big difference in the eating experience. So, well-made hakao. This one is, I feel like, something you can really only have in this place. If I have to choose between these two, it's this talaga. It's really iba talaga, this one. Peter and the lamb is really together. <laughs> okay. Lan chow ramen. Wow. Alright guys, so we are in la chow ramen. I got their spicy beef noodles and then the cha mian with seafood topping and both fried and steamed dumpling. Okay, first of all, the beef noodle. I'm gonna see first how spicy it is. Like they really serve, yeah, hand pulled noodles. Hand pulled noodles? Wow. So good. It's like maratang. Favorite maratang with the beef. Wow. So, yeah, guys, I can tell that this is really handmade noodles. It's not consistent. Uh, the thickness. Mm. Mm. It's 
quite spicy. It's the best beef noodles I've ever had. Really, the best. I even went to Hong Kong and tried, you know, the Hong Kong meat. Even better. I can feel that it's handmade dada. There's really more texture into it. But this one is really homemade. You can tell from just from the noodles. The beef is so tender. You know, this type of beef, if it's not well cooked, it's super tough. Mm. Really tender. Yeah. I also love how, you know, those some beef noodles, because there's too much oil on top. You know, like the one is floating. It's too oily for me, but this one's tough though. The oil is not floating on top. But wow, it's a lot of so look. Wow. How much is this again? 310. So it is quite pricey here. It's not like super affordable, but it's too lit that for the price because really high quality food. Very big serving also. So the price I understand. I like it because there's a good wonky flavor though. Oh! <laughs> Wow. This one, how it looks is like parang it's like pad thai, you know? Because I got the seafood one. It looks like pancit canton with shrimp, fish, and tomato and egg added. Oh, it smells totally different from pancit canton. <laughs> Again, it's my type where you can really taste the original flavor of each veggie. So not super strong in seasoning, not salty at all. I love it. The season is so perfect for me. Blue line, everything's fresh. Fish is really good, really, really good. And again, I can really taste the wok. The fireworks from you know, the smoky. It's really that. The spicy one is really for those who can really handle spicy food well, I think. This one not spicy at all, so anyone can. Uh, but you have to peel the shrimp. Mm. Wow, so fresh too. Once I taste it, it's super sweet, but it's coming from the shrimp's sweet flavor. Once I saw the dumpling, guys, right, it really looks different. It really looks homemade. And parang they have their special uh, soy sauce as well, like parang garlic. Oh. 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 oh my god. It's my favorite. It's the kind of flavor that kids won't like. Yeah, it tastes very healthy. The meat flavor is very, very strong. It's about more than like a pork dumpling. It's really like veggie dumpling. Almost that level. So I love it. This is so good. This is really like the kind of dumpling you can only have like, you know, like a master's house. Like it's really, really good. Very uncommon. The sauce, no man. It doesn't taste like soy sauce. It's vinegar. Vinegar, garlic, a bit of soy sauce, maybe. My mouth, so full of flavors in this small little dumpling. As a gulai lover, this is so good. We know the really. They didn't act stingy with the ingredients, though. Like, they really put generous amount. That's why it's a little more pricey, again, this place. But I would pay this much. Eat this. It's really good. Everything is so good. I'm pretty sure it's the same dumpling. Guys, guys, emergency. <laughs> but let's try a bite. It's the same, I think, but fried. Mm. Oh. Wow. It's the same filling, but then the texture of the wrap after being fried, it totally changes. Very well fried. This is very, very well fried. You know when it's really well fried, it's not oily. A master fried this. Wow. I think I have to pack. This one is really that good. Usually, I don't like fried, but it's so good. I think they make their own wrap as well. The wrap already tastes super homemade. So yeah, new wrap. Homemade, but no. It's homemade. You can feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys also bring home dumpling. You guys also bring home. Because it's really good. Okay. Okay? Okay. Alright guys, so my favorito of the Binonda episode is... Lan Chao La Mian. Wow, guys, I love Binondo Talaga. Yeah, if you're a foodie, you have to come to Binondo. You really have to. I've been here several times, and every time I come, I try different restaurants, and it's all good. And today, Talaga, it was really, really good, Talaga. Everything was so good. The first place, the fried rice. The second place, the mommy and their dumplings, Talaga. I even bought more to pack it home, so... Yeah, it's really good, Talaga. So good. You really don't have to go to China, Hong Kong, or Taiwan for a Chinese food trip. If you're near Binondo, you can just come here. Yeah. So visit here when you come to Binondo. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next Howard episode. Bye.